everyone, I am Anjali and welcome again to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to draft boat neck. So this is a requested video. So many requests I've got to do this video. So before starting a video, I would like to request you all, uh, please go and hit that subscribe button. If you are new to my channel, if you are watching this video for the first time, then please go and subscribe to my channel. I am sure that you will uh, learn really good details about the stitching and yeah let's get into the video now. So first I'm going to fold the paper like this. This is the folded side. Now I'm going to measure the half of my shoulder measurement. So the measurement of my shoulder is 13 inches so half of 13 is six and a half. Going to mark six and a half here. And I'll go six and a half inch down, like so. And I'll make a line here. Now here I'm going to measure the measurement of my chest. So the measurement of my chest is 32. So 32 divided by 4 is 8. So I'm going to mark 8 inches here. I'll take half inch extra. So here. Now I'm going to make a curve for the armhole measurement I'm going to make one inch of line here and now I'm going to make a curve here so now I'm going to mark the measurement of the boat neck so first we will mark the shoulders so for the boat neck we should take shoulders around one and a half to two and a half inches so in this case I'm going to take two inches broad uh, shoulders so for that I'll take two and a half inches half inch for the uh, stitching so here is the marking now I'm going to mark the depth of the boat neck so always take two to three inches so here I'm taking two inches so I'm I'll be taking half inch extra for the uh, stitching now I've got this and I'm going to make a box here now in this box I'm going to mark our boat neck so don't take that deep round neck because that will be a regular round neck so here we have to uh, shape it just like a boat so I'll start it from here and it will go something like this. So this is the 2 inch of the depth. If you want you can take 3 inches also. For 3 inches you have to take 3 and a half inch because half inch will be for the stitching. So if you are giving the 3 inch of depth that will come just below your collarbone and if you want just to cover your collarbone if you want if you want your neck to be just above the collarbone then you should take two inches so this is absolutely your choice uh, what depth you want for your boat neck now here I'm going to take half inch down and I'll draw a shoulder drop here now I'm going to cut this out and I'll show you how it is looking So here my boat neck is looking like this. This is the 2 inch of depth. If you want you can increase this depth 1 inch more and you can take it uh, 3 inch. 
but I think the two inch looks just perfect for the uh, boat neck. So our front side of the boat neck is ready and it's looking like this. For the back side you have to follow the same instruction and the depth you can take the same mostly the depth of the uh, back side is also same but if you want you can take one inch extra or you can reduce one inch extra so it's just your choice you can take three or two and a half inch or two inch so you have to follow the same instruction for the back side also so like this our boat neck draft is ready and it is so simple to make you just have to follow the same instruction on the fabric also and maybe in my next video I'll tell you how to make this uh, boat neck on the fabric. So this was my easy tutorial about how to draft boat necks. If you want to see the video about boat neck on the fabric then please comment in the comment box and tell me I will make a video for you. And I hope this video will be informative for you. You will learn something from this video. And if you liked it, then please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I will see you in my next video. Till then, bye-bye and take care.